Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and I'm a makeup artist from New York. That purple shirt you're wearing is just, the flavor is amazing. It looks amazing on you. <laughs> I have a brand new video for you guys today. Today, inspired by Jackie Ina, we're gonna be doing makeup brands that fell off. So yeah, I'm just gonna be discussing all these brands that I think used to be on top of the game and now they're just not as relevant anymore. So if you guys want to hear what I think about that, make sure to keep on watching. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below what you think about this video and make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button for that YouTube algorithm and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed to my channel already. And make sure you guys hit that post notification icon so you're notified every single time I drop a brand new video, just like this one. But yeah, of course, let's get right into it. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna be doing my makeup while we're talking about it. <laughs> but of course, like always, first let's go into primer because like Nikki says, not to prime is a crime. So I'm gonna go with the NYX Cosmetics Honey Do Me Up Primer. We can't always i can't always just go in with the bobby brown one you know i gotta switch it up a little bit i gotta i gotta give you guys something else <laughs> so first <laughs> the only product i use from them mac so i'm gonna go in and just prime my eyes with this so pretty much the only product i use from them is the painterly paint pot i've also wanted to get the the spray because it's pretty good and it was one of the first honestly too but they all do the same thing i just prefer to get it but like mac obviously used to at one time be on top of the makeup game <laughs> everything was coming out from mac everybody wanted to work for mac um they were the staple for good quality makeup and that wasn't available everywhere at the time so they really changed it up coming in you know they were like, they were the game changer. Not even, they like, not even like, they were the game changer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, they had from their lipstick formulas that lasted all day to their super ranges of foundation, just like Jackie said. You know, they were doing all purples and blues and yellows before anybody else was doing color. When everyone else was just doing like nudes and shit like that. So, and they always had the campaign with RuPaul, the Viva Glam from a long time ago. And she was always the spokesperson as well from a long time ago. So we stand. <laughs> yeah, not to say they're not relevant anymore today. Obviously, they still are. A bunch of people still buy from them. Obviously, I still buy the Painterly Paint Pot from them. But like, you know, they used to be way crazier. Yeah, so please nobody, nor Mac, nor any of the other brands, please attack me. These are just my opinions. <laughs> and again, like Jackie says in her video, none of, just because we mentioned them in this doesn't mean they suck or that they don't have good products. They still do, of course. They just aren't doing what they used to do or aren't and on top of the game. All right. Next, I'm going to just go off. We're going to go in <laughs> with the Jaw Breaker Palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. All right, so next brand i think that has not been as relevant has definitely been makeup geek i remember when they were like again just like mac you know on top of the game and everything and they were like the staple for what people were looking for the shadows were really good i never used makeup geek but i remember hearing like the shadows were really really good the formulas were really really good it was really pigmented the prices were good and stuff like that uh, Marlena Stell, I believe is her name, the owner of the brand. The one who came out with the video was like, James Charles is charging $60,000 <laughs> or something like that. And she was mad upset. And she was uh, saying that the influencers charge a lot of money to do like a sponsor. And of course, they're trying to get that coin. <laughs> but yeah, they're like not relevant anymore whatsoever. They used to be like one of, not one of the biggest brands, I feel like, that were in the game. So, I mean, they've come back now. <laughs> Sorry. They've come back now. And, you know, they're trying to start it up again, I guess you could call it. 
they're doing their thing with the palettes, but I don't feel like <laughs> many of the fans say that they're not doing what the fans want. They're kind of just doing stuff, which is always not that great. And in my opinion, the palettes they've been coming out with aren't that great. <laughs> like that palette they released, the color story was not, was not it. But that's just, again, my opinion. You don't have to believe it <laughs> and not only that it's overpriced as hell now so i guess marlena was like you know what i'm gonna get my money <laughs> put up them prices so i don't know if it always used to be expensive but oh my god i remember when that new palette came out i saw that price i was like no nah. well maybe it is worth it maybe the formulas are immaculate but not in my i've gotten some really good formulas for less than that much all right so today's not my day <laughs> i tried to do something and it looks fucking ugly but i'm gonna take that as a shot to do something completely different on the other eye so i'll just have two completely different looks <laughs> so continuing into what i was saying another brand another brand that i think that isn't as irrelevant anymore as they used to be is urban decay i remember when urban decay again just like the other brands used to be like everything literally that's all people used to get was urban decay they used to only shop urban decay and again not to say these brands aren't good anymore of course urban decay is a cult favorite it has some of the best products like the all-nighter spray the eyelid primer whatever the potion thing is called <laughs> uh but they're just not I feel like they don't take risks like they used to when they were trying to get bigger, you know? Now they kind of play it safe and every product that comes out is like uh, Urban Decay All Nighter Spray Mini and they make like a huge deal of it and you're just like, uh, that's not a new product. <laughs> but no, of course, we still love Urban Decay. I don't really have any. I think I have like one or two products from Urban Decay. It's not, I don't, again, I don't hate it, but it's not one of my favorite brands. But it's definitely still a nice friend we just want new stuff urban decay you know try something else try a new get something else off the menu <laughs> i look insane <laughs> now i'm going to go in with the bobby brown skin Longwear weightless foundation now i'm just gonna conceal real quick with the il maquillage concealer of course i've been loving this thing it's really nice actually all right, so now I've I've done the concealer and the foundation and the eyeshadow, two different looks on each eye. So now, um, next brand, Stila. So Stila actually used to be killing the game too, just like the other brands, but they kind of fell off. Like, not not even they kind of fell off. Stila had very specific products like obviously the liquid glitter eyeshadow and stuff like that and the jelly highlighter but then after that it was kind of like eh it was just another makeup brand and they haven't done much since it's just been the same but it's okay like I said it doesn't mean that they're bad they're still a really nice brand a really good brand I still have the glitter eyeshadows I have like look one of them right here you know I still really like them but there's not really much else that they're coming out with either. You know, something to consider. <laughs> okay, the eyelids are now complete. I don't know why I did two. I'm not a fan of either of them. <laughs> I don't hate them. I just don't like how they came out that much. But it's okay. We're going to continue. So next, I'm just going to go in with the Marc Jacobs Coconut Tan Bronzer. And I'm going to go in with my Scott Barnes brush. I'm just going to bronze up. Let's go into blush first. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the Scott Barnes brush chic and chic palette. The other brand that fell off is Revlon. So Revlon used to be again another one that was really on top of the game and they kind of just fell off they used to kill the lipstick game they used to be like really really known for their lipstick too like 
that's what they were killing most of all their well 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 known lip names but even like even just like other products like face products foundation obviously bb creams concealers they were really a main player in the drugstore product game and they've kind of you know aren't relevant anymore as well just like the other products i feel like i don't use it either but i know people who used to use revlon a lot and still look at it as like a brand like oh you know remember when revlon was doing this so i think it's definitely something to stay remembering because we cannot forget revlon <laughs> of course next brand well actually let's do mascara first and then we'll go into the next brand I'm just gonna go in with the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. I freaking love this mascara. I'm obsessed with it. You guys have to pick this up. Speaking of Stila, let's go in with the Stila Jelly Highlighter in the shade Bronze. And this is what it looks like if you guys have never seen the Jelly Highlighter. Ooh, that's not doing it for me for highlighter. But before we go in, Next brand we have is Becca. So Becca, just like Jackie said, I feel like used to be really on top of the makeup game when they came out with Champagne Pop. It was obviously a game changer for the highlighting game and the beauty community as well. And they're just not doing it like that anymore. And like Jackie was saying, they're pretty much having like an identity crisis. They don't even know what they are anymore. Like they used to be like um, low key beauty and then they were like glam with the Champagne Pop. And then they weren't glam and now they're like skin is um show your skin you know like be happy with your skin so they're kind of like lost where they are i feel like if they knew who they were they would have more customers and stuff like that <laughs> but we're gonna go in with the patrick ta for face lip spray highlighter because the steel one is nice but it's just not doing it for me it just looks streaky on my face Ooh, now that's some highlight we're talking about Next brand that I'm going to be mentioning is Lorac. So I don't know if you guys have heard of Lorac, but they were really, really popular back then. They were actually in Sephora back then. That's the word on the block, apparently. And now they're just like not really relevant anymore. I, I don't think I've had a Lorac product in so long, <laughs> but I remember even my mom used to have that type of makeup. Lorac has been around for a long time, but they they're dead like that. Not like that, dead, dead, but like they're they've been gone for a while <laughs> you know what i mean they're not here anymore <laughs> i'm just gonna finish off the lips with the jeffree star cosmetics the gloss in the shade iridescent throne that's pretty much everything for the whole look i'm just gonna go into the last brand <laughs> and last but not least the brand that i think has fell off the last one ready i don't think you guys are ready three two <laughs> one Yes, Morphe. <laughs> I think Morphe used to be like that brand. It was killing every brand, doing color, palettes, cheap, good, everything. And everyone was freaking scared and shook because they were really doing different stuff. But then they just got like every other brand and got used to the water. And now the formulas freaking suck in the palette. <laughs> Don't add me, Morphe. I love you. But yeah, the, the formulas haven't been killing it like they used to. But just like all the other things I've said in this video, that's just my opinion. <laughs> I hope you guys liked watching my opinions. I guess that's what it's going to be called. Jackie's is called my unpopular opinions. Well, unpopular opinions. I don't know if it's unpopular. I guess it would be called. I was going to call it my inner thoughts because that is what it is. But who knows? So anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do two completely different looks because that's what I felt like doing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And make sure to check out Think of the Podcast, my podcast. There's a brand new episode every single week. It's available on Anchor, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Breaker, and everywhere else podcasts are played, of course. And make sure you guys check out Think of the Merch, which is coming out in June. So make sure you guys go to thinkofthemerch.com to make sure you guys sign up to get 20% off your first order when we do launch. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.